Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a really cool grey knight force that's been completed recently by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, there are loads of great models in this force. You've got Voldus, you've also got Drago himself, an Apothecary, loads of Terminators, and obviously the two Dread Knights that you can see at the back. We're back in a second to have a look at this force in more depth, so stick around. As always guys, we're going to start with the HQs of this force, and as you can see there are three here, you've got an Apothecary, Caldor Drago, and Grandmaster Voldus as well, so three really iconic, cool models for this force, which is nice. Uh, we'll start with Voldus first of all, just so you can have a look at him, get that to focus for you guys. So as you can see here, loads and loads of detail, came out in a triumvirate kit, which uh, or box should I say, which is a really, really cool idea. Uh, really always liked it, I think the pose is really cool as well, very stoic, uh, and as you can see here, all details fully picked out, fully highlighted, which is really nice. And then uh, you've got obviously extra details, like for example, all of the script on all the purity seals and everything, as you can see there, really nice contrast, all added and eyes all picked out on the face, as you can see, and uh, obviously his beard all fully highlighted. Moving around, obviously you've got nice little details, like for example, a little bit of contrast added to the really immaculate cape that you've got there. Some white sort of piping as well which is done on the inside of the cape as well which is really nice and a bit of contrast added to the inner parts of the cape there as you can see and if you look on the book as well uh, someone's gone and done a little bit of texture and scratch work to the, uh, the cover of the book there which is really nice and then you've got a bit of a sort of script as well on the shoulder pad here just going to focus uh, and move around really nice contrast and all the deep recesses as well and a slight blue tinge to the armor I've done a bit of glazing just to really add sort of a blue tinge to the armor uh, it's not like massively blue 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 but uh, it gives a nice sort of off, off blue color to the armor as well on all of these models which is really nice uh, and that's just Voldus there as you can see um, pull forward Caldor Drago again really iconic uh, very very, very well known Grey Knight character um, and as you can see here this model is uh, dripping with detail loads and loads of detail all over him as you can see there you've got his iconic blade there with a really nice two tone colour scheme as well as you can see there like flecks of light and power going through it as well all the purity seals all fully picked out and with the uh, text and script on all the scrolls and things fully picked out nice bit of contrast there on the uh, on the cape as you can see and then moving around to the side here you've got all the gold work all sort of highlighted just so you got, can read all that script and texture as you see there as well and uh, his banner as well it's got all the little bits of uh, script all added to it as well it's a fine cast model as well um, they came out of metal originally but I think they've uh, converted him over to fine cast as well which is uh, which is really cool and uh, again you've got all the extra little details all fully picked out his face all highlighted his eyes picked out and everything there as well you can see so that's just uh, Caldor and then finally we've got the uh, Apothecary from this uh, triumvirate of uh, HQs for this force and again all the vials and everything there with bubbles and little sloshing liquid moving around the lenses with uh, multiple points of light source and highlighting and you've got the light there, the really really nice uh, zenful kind of look on there so it's brighter to the centre of the light and then moving around you've got some of the screens and bits and bobs on there all sort of fully highlighted uh, again nice edge work done on all the armour panels as well as you can see and uh, really really cool overall finish on this uh, great character as well, a little bit of the freehand script there as well on the, uh, on the banner as well on on the uh, bit here as you can see and obviously all the uh, purity seals with script on them as well so that's just the uh, apothecary creep from this force uh, there are three characters I hope you like that next up we're going to look at all the terminators because uh, there's a lot of them and uh, we'll see you guys in the next section stick around Hey guys, so next up we have all of the Terminators of this Grey Knight Force, and there's a fair few of them. There's 30 in total, divided by 15 Paladins and 15 normal Terminators. Uh, I've laid them out here in loadout, so you can just see obviously different loadout options. Uh, we have uh, the Halberds, Swords, and then obviously we've got the Falchions here on the right. Um, and uh, the Paladins are designated by the back uh, sort of detail work and the back sort of icons here, as you can see. So we've got, I've got the Paladins for the Falchions here, and then obviously the Paladins for the Swords and the Halberds at the back there, and then obviously the rest of them are just terminators two squads here at the front and then one behind with falchions um, start by putting forward some of these models just so you can see start with uh, one of the squad leaders here uh, so again you can see all of the areas of detail work fully picked out gems all the script work done there the face has got a load of contrast added to it and with eyes obviously painted lips and teeth just so loads of detail fully fully sort of highlighted and picked out moving around here you can see all the attention to detail on the areas of the armor the purity seals all the script work there on the, the sort of shoulder details uh, and then moving around obviously as well you've got a lot of script work there done it's from some freehand sort of writing the script done on those tabards and sort of areas on that other shoulder as you can see there 
and then moving around. Very stoic pose as well, looking very, very uh, orderly, as you can see there. Nice bit of contrast added to the capes as well. So they're, uh, they've are they got dark, like a, a mid to darker hue in the sort of deepest recesses and then brighter on the uh, raised areas as well and sort of mid color in between those as well, which is really nice. And uh, again, every bit of parchment sort of picked out there, as you can see. So that's just one of the uh, squad leaders from this unit of swords. I'll pull forward uh, one of the terminators with a heavier weapon or an assault weapon, as you can see there. Again, you've got the blended weapon there with some lightning effects. Same consistency throughout this whole entire force. I'm not gonna pull forward every single terminator, uh, but just so you can see, obviously, the attention to detail and the work that goes into these. And uh, again, all the gems, lenses, eyes, everything all highlighted and picked out just to give them that real sort of contrast and, and attention to detail. Again, you've got some more freehand uh, sort of script work there done on that shoulder. Uh, so that's just another one of the terminators. Uh, all of the assault weapons or hair weapons are magnetized as well as per our client request, so they are interchangeable. There's loads of uh, sort of options for those, uh, but I believe every there's three options and each squad has that magnetized. Uh, and then um, pull forward some of the paladins. So you've just got the squad leader here. So this is just one of the paladin squad leaders. Again, you've got that back icon there. It's got loads of script work and a couple of different colors put on there just to add interest to those pages of that book. And uh, again, you've got the same amount of detail work and contrast throughout the force. Uh, again, obviously, when you've got l large amounts of models that are obviously very similar like this, it's, uh, it does get a bit repetitive, but I just want to go through and show you all the amount of work that goes into these. Uh, as again, as you can see there, so that's just one of the squad leaders from the Paladins. Um, pull forward uh, another one of the Paladins here with an assault weapon, just so you can see him. He's got double falchion, as you can see there. And again, the same attention to detail, lightning effects there on the swords. Uh, moving around the back, you've got purity seals as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, all the sort of areas of detail, all highlighted, all picked out, which is really, really nice. So that's just one of the falchion wielding uh, paladins. Put him back. Uh, and then from the back, we'll pull forward some of the normal terminators with falchions, as you can see here. Same again. Uh, lots and lots of detail, all fully highlighted, fully picked out throughout all of these. Uh, really cool pose, this one as well. It looks like he's about to guard with one and then parry with the other, which is really nice. So that's just one of the uh, double wielding falchion terminators. And then uh, I'll pull forward a sword uh, paladin for you guys to have a look. So you can see him again, lightning effects, blended weapon there, as you can see, all the script work all done. And moving around, you've got the really nice attention to detail on the highlighting as well. Uh, so that's just that little pouches and things all picked out, the grenade as well. That's that, just one of the sword wielding paladins. Uh, pull forward his squad leader just so you can have a look at him and again same again he's got actually a scar which has been sort of picked out and highlighted there so it looks like he's uh, taken an injury or he's a veteran as you expect with a paladin uh, and then moving around here as you can see again all the same attention to detail all fully picked out fully highlighted and nothing has been left out so there you go uh, and then we'll pull forward another one of the paladins from the other squad just with the halberd as you can see here again same lighting effects on that halberd and all those details all fully highlighted, fully picked out, with all the script and everything done. That's just none of the halberds. So very much of a muchness. There's obviously quite a fair few of them, guys. There's 30 Terminators, as you can see. Uh, really cool main solid chunk of an army there as well, just to really cause some trouble for anyone you play against. And uh, up next, we've got the two Nemesis Dread Knights coming. So stick around. They're coming up in a second. Hey guys, so last up, but by no means least, we have the two Dread Knights from this Grey Knight Force. Probably my favourite Grey Knight kit, if I'm honest. Uh, really does remind me of the suits that are in one of the Matrix films where they uh, fight off the uh, horde of Sentinels. Um, I've always liked them, and then when I saw it, first of all, they just reminded me of them, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I digress. Without further ado, let's pull them forward and have a look at these awesome, awesome models. Um, let's just move on to the side so you get a bit more of a shot. As you can see here, fully highlighted, loads of detail work on the armour, on the suit, um, a lot of metal work as well obviously with any grey knight um, force uh, so it's breaking out with different areas of colour as well that really does help and as you can see we've got some heraldry on the shield and also on the uh, left uh, shin here as you can see and done that matching on the other one just sort of like it's like a campaign heraldry or army heraldry or something uh, but again you've got the sword there nice all blended from dark to light which is really nice little gem on the hilt all picked out as well uh, it's all the little details which are really really nice like for example the little gems and things as you can see on the, on the front here, here as you can see it picked out and then obviously the little lenses and targeters are all there sort of with the point of light source as well put on them in a bit of transitional color which is really cool uh, and move around the back again you can see the lenses on the back there for, for the viewing behind uh, very very important so you can see uh, anyone who's sneaking up on him and you've got obviously a purity seal there as well sort of picked out areas of pipes and things made in a really dark, nice dark black just to contrast against that uh, metal work just to really break up that silver as you can see there and then move around the side 
all the other little bits of detail, even on the uh, Grey Knight himself, with all sort of Freud picked out. So if I put him forward just so you can see him, again, he's got another little scar on his head there, as you can see, his teeth and eyes are all fully done, fully contrasted and highlighted, which is really nice. So that's just the first one out of the two. Uh, pull forward the other one so you can see him in all his glory. Again, same again, nice campaign sort of heraldry here with a couple of scratches and bits and bobs on there just to show that he has been in the thick of it. And again, you've got all the contrast added to that shield on the heraldry and all those areas of highlighting uh, all picked out there. Facial details again, eyes teeth everything all done there lips as well and then moving around as you can see the nice blended sword there as you can see and once again on the back the same consistency on all the lenses black work and a nice bit of soot effect on the areas of the stacks and also on the vents here as well just to really give those a nice sort of uh, dirty kind of look on that area of it uh, so that's just two dread knights guys uh, to finish off this force it's been a great project to work on i'll go to the next section now which is just the army showcase again just so we can finish on that but stick around that's coming up and i'll see you guys in a sec Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video guys. I hope you've liked this army showcase and all the models that you've seen in the video. It's been a great project to work on. I know Simon's thoroughly enjoyed it. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then the best thing to do is head to our website, click on the contact tab, and then you'll be presented with a contact form that where you've got some drop down boxes you've got to select um, as per your requirements, and then also a message section which you can fill out with all the details of your commission and bits and bobs uh, just so you can let us know everything you, you want to sort of get a quote for. Um, as always, you know, we've got social media Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all of those. So please go do follow us on those because we do updates of projects and work and things that are happening uh, in the studio there. And as always, please like, please comment and please subscribe because we really appreciate it and it's great to chat to you guys in the comments. I do hope you like the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.